Reframe is our qualitative note-taking and analysis tool, which makes it faster and easier for you and your team to capture observations, see trends, and identify key themes in any project. Whether you're carrying out user interviews, running usability tests, or analyzing any other qualitative data such as customer support feedback or survey responses, Reframer lets you collate and synthesize all of your data in one place so it's easily accessible and completely traceable. In this quick video, I'm going to show you the key steps you'll take when running your user research and qualitative analysis in Reframer. We'll show you how to set up your project and create your sessions. Enter your observations and add tags and significance ratings, and explore your results and identify themes. So let's get started. When you set up a project in Reframer, the first thing you'll do is add a name that describes the project in a way that makes sense to you and your team. Let's imagine you're doing some usability tests for a mobile banking app prototype for Banana Bank, and yes, that is a fictional company. You can include any additional information about the project in the notes section, so you may want to outline the objectives of the study or give an overview of the people taking part. Next you'll need to create a session for each participant, which is where you'll write up your observations. You can put as much or as little detail in the name of the session as makes sense for your project. Now the other thing you'll see on this page is an area for managing your project tags. The purpose of tags is to help you categorise and identify patterns across the data that you collect. For task-based research like usability testing, it makes sense to set up your tags in advance as you'll have a pretty good idea of the things that you're looking for in each session. Here's an example of the kinds of tags you might want to create for a usability test and how you could organise them into groups. You'll notice that the sentiment tags are in different colours. By colouring your tags like this, you can see at a glance which observations relate to positive or negative emotions. For more open-ended interviews, you may want to create your tags during the session when patterns start to emerge, or wait until the end of the note-taking phase when you can really immerse yourself in the data and then create your tags. Whichever way you decide to set up and structure your tags, it's really easy to add new tags and groups at any point, rename existing tags, or even merge tags when they seem to represent similar concepts. And with that done, you're ready to start your session. Clicking on the participant name will take you into the session view where you'll enter your observations. Similar to project notes, you've got session notes where you can add anything that's relevant to this particular session. This could be anything that's helpful for you and your team to know about a particular participant, such as their previous experience using your app or website. You'll also see all the tags that you created in the panel on the right hand side, and any new tags you create will be added there too. If there's any tags you'd like added to every observation in a session, you can put them in the session tag section on the right hand side as well at any point during your project. So let's say that during your screening interview, you've identified that this participant best fits with your mainstreamer persona. Now that you've added mainstreamer to your session tag section, that tag will automatically be applied to any observations that you enter here. Session tags can be helpful for quickly segmenting your observations by characteristics like behavioural type, role or experience level. And now you're ready to start entering those observations. It really is as simple as just clicking under the session name, typing anything you see and hear, and hitting enter. You'll see that your session tag has already been added to this observation, and there's a few ways that you can add additional tags to a particular observation. You can use inline hashtags to automatically add new or existing tags as you go. Or you can drag and drop tags into single or multiple observations. If you use quotation marks in your observations, a quote tag will automatically be applied. This makes it super easy to find those all-important verbatim user quotes during your analysis. And lastly, you can set a significance level for each of your observations. This can be used to indicate the severity of an issue or perhaps the intensity of emotion expressed by a participant. We recommend that you include a key in your project notes so that anyone looking at your project data, either now or in the future, can make sense of each rating. Now that you've finished taking notes and taking your observations, it's time to move into the results analysis. From the overview tab, you can see at a glance the high level details of your study, including the frequency of each tag and the significance level. Your themes will also appear here as you build them out. The theme builder is where you can really dig into the data that you've captured. 
Here you'll find all the observations that you've entered across all sessions, as well as those recorded by anyone else in your team. You can filter your observations by session or by tag. It's easy to broaden or narrow your query to explore the relationships between your observations and discover patterns. When you discover a theme that you think will be useful in your analysis, simply name the theme and, if you like, add a description. You can return to your theme at any time from your saved themes list or from your overview page. Another exciting way to explore relationships within your data is with our data visualizations. Our bubble chart shows a simple representation of the frequency of each tag so that you can see at a glance the most frequent topics and issues. It's easy to filter out tags that aren't critical in your analysis so that you can focus on what's most important. Our chord diagram lets you hone in on relationships between your tags. Here we can see that the idea of incentives when saving money was met with delight by both analog and mainstream personas. It's really simple to export your observations, tags and themes at any point, so you can easily share and manipulate your data in any way that suits you. Reframer is currently in beta, and we've been working hard to continually improve the tool to make it faster and easier for researchers to carry out their qualitative research. We'd love to hear how you've been using Reframer in your work, and in particular, any comments or feedback about how we can make it work better for you. Please get in touch with us at support at optimalworkshop.com. We can't wait to hear from you.